What's up guys, this is Simmons Vengeance and I am back here with another MLB 16 The Show Baltimore Orioles franchise and today is game number three of the ALCS between the Cleveland Indians and the Baltimore Orioles and looking to win game three here at home in Oriole Park this is going to be huge for the rest of the series because we got one more game at home after this and we've been hitting the ball extremely well as of late didn't hit the ball so well in game one but we did come alive here in game two and we did come alive in late, late, better late than never, we came alive in extra innings. But taking a look at the pitching matchup and the starting lineups, we have Ubaldo Jimenez versus Carlos Carrasco. Taking a look at the Indian starting lineup, we have yet to put Francisco Lindor in check. We're looking to do that here in Game 3. Taking a look at the Orioles lineup as well, and we're trying to get Mark Trembo back on track and trying to keep everybody else hot as well. you got Jimmy Paredes here in the bottom of the second. After an error and a walk here from Weeters and uh, Trumbo, we have Paredes up. And Paredes is going to take this one in the deep right, and that one's going to find the seats. A home run, three-run blast from Jimmy Paredes, and that gives us an early 3-0 advantage. On the first hit of the game, it gives us a 3-1 lead, and uh, that's what happens when you uh, have bad fielding and a, a bad pitching uh, at bat anyway. He uh, walked Weeters and had an error on Trumbo. So now it's 3 nothing after the error and the walk and now a home run. And now Ubaldo Jimenez with runners on the corners here. Going to give this one up to Juan Uribe. And that one's going to be a run for the Indians, but it's not going to be an earned run on Ubaldo Jimenez because we've had – this game was extremely sloppy. It was rainy. And the ball was just slipping out of people's hands. There was a combined total of five errors in this game. And we get another base hit right there from Trumbo. He's going to hit that one down the left field line. Chris Davis is going to run the stop sign, and he is going to score. He has trusted himself, and now he gives them a 5-1 lead thanks to Mark Trumbo's two RBI single later on in the inning. It's uh, Matt Wieters taking this one into deep right center field, and that one's going to find the seat as well. And that is going to be a two-run homer for Matt Wieters. Matt Wieters has been playing really well this postseason. And I think we're going to keep him right where he is in the lineup because of the fact that he has been doing so well in that spot. Might as well just keep him there, right? So now it's 7-1 as the Orioles have really just broken this one open. And Ubaldo Jimenez is pitching very well this game. Even though he's given up that one run, but it wasn't an earned run. It's still a run. Uh, but later on, we do give up one right here. Deep center field. Is it going to be enough? No. Adam Jones is near the warning track. And that one's going to be it for that. So Ubaldo still in the mound in the ninth. And he's throwing over 100 pitches. He's getting real tired. And this is, he's already eight and a third in. And I felt like at this point I was going to give him the chance to go for a complete game. Uh, but I felt like I just kept him in a little too long as he gives up a two-run homer to Jan Gomes. And he, he was done after that. Darren O'Day is going to come in. And uh, eight and a third, 10 Ks, two earned. Really good start for Ubaldo Jimenez after that first game he had against Toronto in the postseason where he had a, an ERA of nine. Just did not have a great start. And now he kind of bounced back and gave his team a chance to win. And he really did that today, uh, even though he gave up two earned runs, three overall. But Darren O'Day coming in, closing the door. Going to give this one up to Juan Uribe. And that one's going to be the right center in the glove of Jimmy Paredes to end the game. And the Baltimore Orioles go up two to one here in the series. And we're looking to go in game four. Giovanni Gallardo, who pitched a complete game, shout out last time. We're looking to have him do the same thing over again here in game four. As uh, now we have a lot more momentum on our side as we just completely blew the or uh, Indians right out of the water. The, the Orioles just hit the ball, had a combined total of like 10 or 11 hits. As uh, we're going to take a look at the final line scores. You see, we, had, we just had sloppy base, uh, no, sloppy fielding and uh, everything else in between. Um, but nonetheless, a good win for the Orioles today. And we go into game four with a lot more momentum, and we could try and win game four and try and take the series in five. That's our goal now, and now it's our goal. Five total errors total like, combined for both teams. Uh, 11 hits for the Orioles, five for the Indians, seven to three was your final score. Ubaldo Jimenez pitched a great game today. Two earned runs, five hits, just a great game for him. And we expect more out of that from Giovanni Gallardo and Miguel Gonzalez here in the next coming days. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like. And if you're new to this channel at all, hey, there's a subscribe button right beside my name. And, uh, you know, you can see more content like this. You can see Madden. You can see 
uh, some more um, NCAA football and stuff like that. But until next time, also follow me on Twitter at Sim with Vengeance. Links in the description. You follow me, I'll follow you back. Until then, my name is Sim with Vengeance, and I am out. Peace.